Hello, Pisces. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Pisces? Please and thank you. Messages for a sign of Pisces. Karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Palm tree, stability, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. Love call, girl with a snake, empath and narcissist, uh, being charmed or used, enabled, um, boundaries here. Some of y'all could have been attached to some sort of narcissist or you are attached to some sort of narcissist and you're needing to establish boundaries. And the thing is, it doesn't have to be um, romantic because karmic relationships comes in many forms. But I'm definitely seeing you guys trying to create stability out of a karmic relationship that you've been guided to let go of. And I'm getting like that type of abusive uh, cycle here. Meaning you guys break up to make up. And it seems like it's constant in this connection with you and someone else. So it's like you're building a stable relationship out of a karmic relationship that's very toxic for you. You may leave this person. Because you decide to let it go and to start loving on yourselves, to start focusing on yourself. And all it takes is one sweet call and you are right back with this person. But they are saying that you are, it, it's just a form of deceit here. It's manipulation here because it seems to be a toxic cycle going on with you and someone else. I'm like, what is up with y'all energy? Because I swear, like, I don't think was the last read or was it? Because I think, like, y'all didn't have the best read the last time either. Let's see what else is coming through for you. Let me get out the OG tarot deck for y'all. I'm actually, they, I'm actually being guided to this, which is shocking. No. Is it this? No. Hold on, I'm sorry, y'all. I have to make sure that I'm getting the right message. Because I'm trying to make sure, because I really do want the original tarot deck, but I keep getting this one. So I'm going to do this one. Okay. For whatever reason. We'll see. Beauty, charming, grace, kind-hearted, distance. Why am I getting like you guys feeling distance from this inner beauty within yourself. So it's like the spirit within yourself, where it's like this charming, graceful, kind-hearted, that version of yourself, it's like you feel separated. There's like some sort, it's like a part of you, which is your beauty. Some of y'all may not even feel the best at this time. Uh, beauty gives me empress energy. So it's like this abundance, this abundant energy that you had. Um, really feeling good and positive about yourself and that's the energy that you were putting out it seems like you're so far from it right now because i'm getting this sadness coming from you it's like feeling disconnected with the honest version of yourself because whoever you are you're a very kind-hearted person you're very graceful charming 
and you're a very good looking person as well but for whatever reason you feel withdrawn from that version of yourself oh okay in your blockage we have trapped stuck tied down captive longing craving aching and wanting what are you wanting what are you wanting return second chance opportunity making amends pretending mass exaggeration bluff y'all are wanting to you feel like you can't reach out to someone you're wanting to make amends something could have been exaggerated what is this bluff about because this is showing up in your blockage some of y'all may feel like you need to make amends with someone this is odd um Okay, ego, bluff, rejection, abandon, dismiss, irrational fear, arrogance, ego, stubborn. So someone was wearing a mask, their ego here. Someone was being very arrogant. Someone feels abandoned, dismissed, irrational fear. This is showing up in your blockage. And it's really odd because this is what's challenging you currently. Are you the one that's feeling stuck and wanting to reach out to someone? I'm not getting, cause I'm, the thing is I'm not getting like the toxic relationship though. This is odd. Um, I'm getting, someone was allowing their egos to get in the way and they could have like abandoned someone here acting like they didn't care when they really do okay let's see let's dive a little deeper into this okay i can't make this stuff up sorrow loss grief depression someone is going through some sort of depression y'all could have had someone that abandoned you okay take it as it resonates because as someone who feels like they can't reach out to someone. I'm really getting the only reason why they can't reach out is because their pride is standing in the way. But yet they're wanting to make amends with someone else, but they're wearing they're wearing this mask of acting like they don't care when really they do. And I'm getting that they have a lot of regret for abandoning someone. And it's actually causing this person to have a lot of loss, grief, depression. They could be suffering some form of losses here. And they're really wanting to reach out to you, but they feel like they can't. So someone could have did something to you, Pisces, here. And this person really regrets what they did, okay? And they're wanting to reach out to you. They're wanting to talk to you. They're wanting to make things right. But their ego is just standing in the way. Their pride is getting the best of them. Okay, let's see. This is real interesting. And two wants to come out. I'm seeing you having a deep conversation with someone here. And so, um, it's like you're going to be shocked with some sort of information that you receive out of this conver conversation. Be some, because someone is being honest about the pain that they've been um, going through. Someone is about to reveal like why they've been acting a certain way and it's going to be really shocking. You weren't expecting this out of this person, but someone is really coming clean about something here. It's like a deep conversation taking place between you and someone else. Ooh.
Okay. Someone wants to stop stressing over uh, a relationship and whatever type of relationship that may be. Because the energy that I'm getting is someone like constantly thinking about this connection. They are saying they don't want to think about it anymore. They want to do something about it because it seems to be on their mind night and day when they're at work, when they're about to go to sleep all throughout the day. It's, someone cannot stop thinking about this. They feel obsessed with this situation and they're wanting growth out of this situation because they're tired of stressing about it and they, they're at this point where they're ready to do something about it. Okay, in the past. Okay, so it was some third-party influences that caused the um, ending of a particular relationship or connection. Secrets, mysteries, someone is concealing something, but whatever they're holding in, they're keeping to themselves, is causing them to fall apart. They're feeling hopeless. They're about to reach their breaking point and they're going to end up opening their heart up. They're finally going to be vulnerable because this is the energy that you're headed towards. Someone can no longer hold something in anymore because it's tearing them apart. Like it's about to boil over. And this is what's going to trigger this person to open their heart and to be honest about how they feel and what's going on. What? Okay. Um, Y'all have someone who this is and this is coming from someone's energy. Someone is looking at you and they are saying they feel like they see the truth about you. They feel like they see you for who you are and they see you as someone who's very shallow. They feel like there's no depth to you. Why is this person saying all this? Who is this? Yes, this, oh my gosh. So someone is, who is this? Because why is this energy like, I know. Some of y'all can end up having some sort of heated conversation with someone. And this is why you're about to be shocked with whatever information you're getting from this person. Because just because they're opening their heart doesn't mean that it's, something that you want to hear because what I'm getting from this person, someone saying that they have to establish boundaries with you because they're saying that you play too many games. You're the one playing games. There's no depth to you as well. And they feel like they have realized the truth about you, that you're a very shallow individual and they need to create boundaries with you. You play a lot of games as well. Okay. But this is someone you feel like, you know what? Cause I was like, wait a second. Cause I'm, I'm really getting like you and someone reaching some sort of breaking point because the energy that I'm getting from you is I feel the same way. I feel like this is something that we need to let go of. It's been really toxic. Some of y'all could feel like someone cursed you or hexed you. But let me see. Let me dive into this um, energy real quick to see what are y'all saying. Because this is insane. No. I'm getting this energy of y'all saying like, okay, this person says all this stuff to you. 
And you end up saying, I feel the same way. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of going back and forth with you. It's really toxic. Um, I don't like feeling this way. And even though it breaks your heart and it's hard for you to release this, you feel like it's in your best interest to do so. What is your advice for Pisces, please? And thank you. What is your advice for Pisces? Anger, resentment, and time waiting. They're wanting you to give something time to allow things to cool over. So you're needing to give something time because they're saying that all of this can be prevented if you guys allow time. It's like allowing the energy to settle because I'm getting like the two of you. Um, it's like, could it change? There could be some hurtful words exchange, resentment, anger here. And it's really, it's like you guys on the verge of exploding but if you were to give things time to settle, you can approach this uh, situation proper where you're you're not just screaming things back and forth at each other. Because there could be things that are said you guys can't take back. I'm getting someone more than likely you're already in a relationship or this is someone you're trying to make amends with. Apology and conflicted. So, yeah, um, the odd thing is, is that it, it's, it's almost like this energy of someone's intentions is to make things right, is to move things in the right direction. But because you guys don't give, it's like you're not giving each other time to allow this energy to settle. So when you guys address this situation, things don't go the way you wanted it to. And it's really because y'all are both just like heated. Or maybe y'all are needing to talk to someone else in order to like before you even talk to this person for like the best way to approach this situation. This is really interesting, Pisces. Okay. I'm getting out of that. This is the thing about doing tarot too. It's like when I get readings like this and these energies are so tense, it's like, I really have to, that's why it's like, you do tarot, like if any of y'all do tarot, that's one thing you have to be mindful of is like making sure that you don't absorb, you know, energies that they're not you basically. You have to learn to be very protective over your energy as you're delivering messages for others. you got I get this too taking back power control re releasing a situation open relationship so no commitment casual openness travel vacation enjoyment career True gem. Family. <sighs> Let me see. Some of y'all can end up deciding to take a career where you are. It's almost like some of y'all could end a relationship and then decide to just start traveling. Like, uh, take on a job. Some of y'all may become a flight attendant or do something where you can just travel all the time. And that's just, it's like part of your healing is to just like set yourself free 
and to just really enjoy your life. True love. Some of y'all feel like you're releasing a true love here. Spiritual growth. Ice queen and family. The thing is, I'm getting like someone feeling attacked on like every level. It's like dealing with a relationship, also dealing with family. It's like a lot on your plate. And it's causing you to like feel cold. I'm really getting like someone saying, okay, I'm going to focus completely on my career here. Like I don't have anyone else. But it's almost like you feel like you're releasing your true love. I am definitely getting like a conversation taking place between you and someone else. And you guys are saying, okay, let's just, you know, call it quits, you know, see where things go from here. But it looks like y'all are going to be doing some soul searching. Some of y'all could just do a lot of traveling here, doing things to just find yourself again. Some of y'all could be going through some sort of divorce or just separating yourself from people and things that you just no longer resonate with and focusing on your success here. As I feel like someone feels like there's been a lot of people that has been holding them back or it's just like certain circumstances. I told you, I told you kitchen was closed, but I'm definitely seeing someone no longer allowing situations to hold them back anymore people or situations here Leap of faith is safe to make the move you're considering. And it's like with true love, honest conversation, some sort of honest conversation is taking place between you and someone else. Does this situation align with your uh, values and morals here? Healing, old wounds and childhood issues, the now. Some of y'all are still in the now. Detached with love to clearly see the truth. And the reason why you're not seeing something clearly is because the way you're perceiving it, you're perceiving it from a place of hate, resentment, anger. That's what we're saying. Resentment here. Um, you're being guided to take a leap of faith that's allowing you to take back your power. That's going to bring in stability. But some of y'all is, is, is calling you to separate yourself, whether it's a romantic uh, relationship. Some of y'all, it's your career, a job that you thought you loved, but it's, you're realizing it's not right for you. It's not what you're meant to do. There's something here that you're needing to sep separate yourself from. It's preventing you from being who you are meant to be, really. And I'm really seeing you guys doing some soul searching here, trying to figure out, like, where are you being guided? What are you being guided to do? I'm seeing like you focusing on your healing. I'm really getting like you reaching a place where you realize like I don't have time to be in denial anymore. If I want to be living a different life in the near future, I need to start doing something about it now because someone is saying they're not happy with the life that they're living. And if you continue to deny it and pretend, it's not going to do anything for you. It's only blocking your blessings and someone is realizing that. So, I mean, sometimes you have to do it alone and wait for the right people to come towards you. I definitely, I have experienced that and I'm so happy that I did because the place that I am in life right now is, is, is just amazing. I'm definitely moving towards even bigger and better things, but 
It's like the people that I've had to separate myself from, I have no intentions of ever speaking to them or seeing them again. Because I realized, I had made a post too, I had saw like this saying, it's like some people are meant to be with that unhealed version of you. And once you heal, they, they're they not meant to be with that version of you. They were just there for that season. It's unfortunate, but uh, I mean, it is what it is. Harmony, cause and effect. You are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. Some of y'all are realizing it's like if you want to find that peace within your life, you're needing to start making those changes now. Or this is what you're being guided to do. Because whatever you you put action and intentions towards today in this present moment is where you're headed towards in the near future. So if you want to be at peace in your life, then you need to start setting your intentions and taking action towards whatever you want. Wherever you want to see that change, start doing it now. This is what you're being guided to do. I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.